This problem where we have to do an energy balance in order to determine mass flow into a tank. So we start out with a tank that has liquid water and water vapor, and then we flow in steam with quality of 91% until the pressure in the tank equalizes with the flow stream coming in at 2.3 bar. Adiabatic system, fixed volume. And in other screencasts, write down the energy balance the mass balance, and the equation that relates specific volume to the final quality. So I want to show the spreadsheet that allows us to quickly do the calculation once we enter the values in the spreadsheet from steam tables. So first, to use the steam tables in the spreadsheet, and this one for tables for saturation by temperature, I put in 75 degrees, that's the starting condition. I can then read off the specific volumes for the liquid and vapor and the specific internal energies for liquid and the vapor and substitute those into energy balance. I can also go to the table for saturation pressure and put in for 2.3 bar would be 0.23 megapascals. And then for the stream coming in, on these steam tables on the right, we indicate quality. So if I put in a quality of 0.91, then it calculates the specific volume and the internal energy for that mixture coming in. And we're interested in the internal energy because that enters into the energy balance. Now let's look at the spreadsheet that does the calculation. So the spreadsheet has the equations that we use, and let's, let's expand to look at the, the values that we're interested in. Specific volumes that I just showed you, these are from the steam tables. We use them and the information in the problem statement to calculate that initial quality, and that allowed us to get the mass liquid mass of vapor. The final solution, this is value we got by running solver. So the specific Internal energies for liquid and vapor at the start are just, again, from the steam tables I just showed. And so I can calculate the initial internal energy. That you can see up here is the mass the liquid at the start, internal energy per kilogram liquid plus mass of vapor, internal energy vapor. I can now calculate the final internal energy in terms of that initial internal energy. The mass flow in, which I don't know. And so that's a value that I initially guess in order to do the calculation, then I'm going to use solver. So mass flow in at 91.3, that's the final answer. But initially, I guess a value so that I can calculate the final internal energy. The enthalpy in comes again from the steam tables and it's looking up the enthalpies of the liquid and the vapor and using the quality and the steam table also does this calculation. So this gives me this enthalpy N value. And so the right side of the equation is the, the initial internal energy plus the energy added by flow. And then I look up values for the final condition. We know the final pressure. So we know specific volumes and internal energy that's here. We don't know the final quality but that's what we're solving for. This equation just results from the fact that we calculate the specific volume in terms of the final mass, and then we can get the quality if we know the specific volumes initially and finally. And then the internal energy, final, the total internal energy, if you like the left side of the equation, is just the final mass times quality and internal energy of vapor, internal energy of liquid. So this equation, this term, spreadsheets, the final internal energy, and this term here is the final internal energy we calculated from the right side of the equation, namely initial internal, internal energy plus the enthalpy added by flow. And we want these two numbers to be equal, which you can see they are to quite good accuracy. And we did that by changing the quality and changing the mass flow in. And so we end up with the final quality. If we know the final quality, of course, we can then calculate how much mass of liquids in the tank at the end. And that's this number here. So the, the spreadsheet makes it easier to, to solve these equations simultaneously. We could do this without a spreadsheet, but with all the numbers we have to input from steam tables, much less likely to make a mistake if we put them in. Also allows us to then solve it different conditions, a different pressure coming in. We could put in different values in steam tables. 
are a different quality entering or a different initial condition. 